Hello everyone, welcome to or welcome back to my channel, Tough Topic. My name is Brittany. I hope everyone is having a great day. Do me a favor, if you are already subscribed to my channel, hit that notification bell so you won't miss any updates. If you're not subscribed, consider hitting that subscribe button and please give this video a thumbs up at the end as well. So, due to Matt Roloff wanting to simplify his life as he's getting older, he placed 16 acres of Roloff Farms for sale almost two months ago. And if you have been keeping up with the new season of Little People Big World, then I'm sure you have already formed your thoughts on Matt's decisions and business deals. But is Matt going to have to make a price cut for the property? Of course, after two months listed and over 50,000 viewers of the property, I'm sure there have been some offers placed, but... Since the home is still listed, those offers might not have been good enough for Matt, or is he having Zach did not go over too well? Matt still decided to move forward with placing the property up for sale, despite all the things Matt talked about in the past seasons in regards to having the pirate ship and the castle for his grandkids to be able to grow up around. Fans in Matt's comment section asked him, what happened to the legacy you always talked about? And Matt responded by saying, sell it and keep 109 acres, still a pretty healthy holding. But looking at the photos on the listing, by the way, are obviously digital photos of the property. To me, $4 million still seems like a bit of an overprice, despite the remodels and acreage. It seems like over 50,000 people are thinking the same thing. With Amy, when Amy sold her piece of the property, she sold it to Matt for a little under $1 million. So do you all think people are looking at that and not wanting to accept the price that's listed? Either way it goes, whether Matt takes the property off the market, he still has the opportunity to rent it out for now, and he can even make a price cut, which I think that's what he's going to be forced to do. Despite all of that, Matt does seem to still be in a good place with Amy as the family was spotted together at the Little People Convention in Washington. So it's good to see that, you know, their relationship is actually doing well. And it's actually sad to see that he and Matt's relationship is kind of going downhill while him and Amy's is doing great. I don't know why they all can't just be on the same page. But I guess that's family for you. So do you all think that Matt will have a hard time selling the property? Or do you think he will remove the listing? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I certainly do appreciate you guys listening and watching. And I will be back for more. Bye for now.